Welcome to my week nine battle of the PDL. This week, the Chicago Grookies are taking on Coach Artis, coach of the Odd IC, and we are still holding on to our sixth place um, standing for playoffs until we need to win this game this week so we can continue to hold. We have one more week after this week. Week 10 is the final week, so I, I have to come out victorious here. Uh, I think I have a pretty good plan for what I want to do. Hopefully, I can just execute it correctly. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to hop right into the team builder here. Battle will be after. If you enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Helps out a ton. All right, so our opponent's team is Chempau, Quaquavel, Sandy Shocks, Enamorous Therian Form, Hisui and Gudra, Noivern, Hisui and Typhlosion, Arbeliva, Azelf, Umbreon, Ditto, and Saviper. So, my plan going into this is to um, status spam. So, I have multiple different forms of status on this team this week. All for Gengar to come in with a Choice Scarf and Hex. Hex will do double damage if the opponent is status. So, it's a 130 base power move. Almost, um, it's over 50% stronger than Shadow Wall. So, it does... A ton of damage um, we also have sludge bomb on the set that's specifically there for the Arbeliva since that is a part normal type and then dazzling gleam is there for the Gudra in case I can't get its status right away it was our best way to hit it hex was still a little bit weaker and then trick is there to trick maybe the Umbreon um, in case it gets a little bit annoying we can give that a choice scarf so now to get into the status of this week so first we have Dragalgi. This set up, up Toxic Spikes because our opponent's only poison type is Saviper. They do have Quaquavel with Rapid Spin and um, Noivern with Defog, but that pressures those two um, into those rolls a lot. And so it, it, it definitely still works out. I only needed my dual stabs of Draco Meteor and Sludge Bomb since their steel type is neutral to Draco. And then I have Haze there in case they want to try to set up. Uh, it also gets rid of the minus two from Draco Meteor. Uh, we're max special defense. This is to take um, moves from Sandy Shock and Amorous, Gudra, and the Noivern. Um, and the Hisuian Typhlosion as well. This is a really good switch into that because that thing is actually kind of scary for my team. Next up, we have Klefki. This is dual screens with Thunder Wave. And then we have Dazzling Gleam as our last move. Um, same thing where I have to watch out for Noivern's Defog. Um, and then Chen Pao also gets Psychic Fangs and Quaquavel gets Brick Break. Um, Quaquavel really doesn't want to run Brick Break and Chen Pao can run um, the Psychic Fangs. But th I still thought that this was the best set over Spikes. And then Thunder Wave is there for the status for Hex. Uh, next we have Hatterene. It's just a leftover set. Nuzzle, Dazzling Gleam, Psy Shock, and Baton Pass. Um, Nuzzle is there for the status, and then we just have dual stabs that pretty much hit everything. But Tom passes for us to switch out, getting another, another threat in. Um, we have Tauros. Tauros is our dedicated Chen Pao switch in uh, with Intimidate. The only way this thing really threatens us is with Psychic Fang, so I'm expecting him to have it. Um, with Intimidate, it's a, uh, it's a roll to kill. Um, Body Press kills it. If Etera Electrics, Earthquake does a ton. We have Will O Wisp there to burn it. That would be the best case scenario. And then last but not least, we have our MVP Landorus. Just four attacking moves Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Rock Slide, Psychic. Hits the entire team for the most part. Um, the only Pokemon that this doesn't hit super effectively is um, the Azelf, which Rock Slides or Sludge Bomb still does a ton of damage to it. So. I think we'll be okay running max speed to speed tie with uh i believe the typhlosion so that is the team we're gonna hop into the battle hope you enjoy okay here we are with the battle our opponent does not bring Saviper, which is fantastic so we don't have to worry about our toxic spikes getting absorbed they do have quaquavel and noivern though so those are both ways to remove our hazards um sandy shocks is not a problem it's pretty hard walled by landers for the most part um, what do I want to lead here? I think I want to either lead Klefki or Hatterene. Neither um, are particularly threatened. I'm going to lead Hatterene. I think Hatterene's the best. We can either Nuzzle um, or Baton Pass out. We can even get an attack off if, if needed. Lead Sandy Shocks. We don't see uh, a booster energy. I'm going to see how like a choice spec set does uh earth power does quite a bit 
I can't nuzzle this. Um, it's also not a two at KO. So I'm gonna baton pass out here. It might go for uh, some hazards. That's an option as well. But I feel like with the um, with the toxic spikes, they're gonna be more pressured than I am. So I'm gonna baton pass here. If they hit me, it's totally fine. Um, Earth power does the most. Or Thunderbolt does a little over half, um, 50 to 60 ish percent. I could pivot hard Lando here, but in case they hard switch, Baton Pass is just safer. Ooh, light screen. Okay. Interesting. I am going to go Landorus here, though. Um, two switches ins in uh, Azelf and Noivern are possible here. Because Earth Power still does a ton to this thing. Um, I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb. I think Sludge Bomb is my best uh, my best play here since Psychic is resisted by Azelf. And I think... Uh... No, actually I'm going to go for Rock Slide because of the, the light screen. This is going to do huge damage to Noiburn if it hits. Awesome. Okay, so this is actually really good because if this is um, defog, we we just really shut it down quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna go Klefki here. I doubt a flamethrower comes out. I'm expecting more like of a Draco or maybe like a Hurricane. I don't want Landers taking a ton of damage. Quaquavel's perfectly fine because I'm physically defensive. And I think I just want to let a uh, a Dazzling Gleam off here on the off chance that he goes like Sandy Shocks or Chen Pao. Um, I could also see Gudra coming out here. New turns out. Okay. So he's going to see I didn't go for a, uh, a priority prankster move. Get a crit. I am going to assume that's like an Assault Vest set. Because that did, um, that did very, very little. Dazzling Gleam crit. Maybe not. set this is cliff key versus Gudra. No, so that's probably not an assault vest set. Probably not. Okay. Um, I can go Dragalgi here. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna just set up a light screen though. Oof! Huge miss from Fire Blast. I'm gonna Thunder Wave now to paralyze this. It'll uh, allow Hex to do a lot more damage when I get Gengar in. And once that Chen Pao Terra's. They have no switch into Hex at all. Okay, we, we actually didn't take uh, a ton of damage there. Um, I think I'm going to go Tauros here. Actually, I want to find out more about this set first. That Fire Blast did 44%. So this has investment. It's actually, it's probably max special attack modest. Yeah, that's that's looking like what it is most likely. Um, so if I go Tauros on like a Draco. Oh, okay, I actually don't 
take a ton there. I'm going to go Tauros here. Okay, that's quite unfortunate, but this is a pretty free Lando switch here. Can't hit me with Thunderbolt, can't hit me with Earth Power. The best it can do is like a Power Gym or something. All right, he is just switching around me right now. But I feel less threatened because I have a light screen up now. So I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to, what's better, Psychic or Sludge Bomb? I'm going to Sludge Bomb. Super Fang, that's fine. We'll get rid of this Gudra now. So if I can get a Toxic Spike up, then uh, it might be, might be here for the rest of the game. It depends on the Quack Wable. And our Landris is at 50% now, so I got to be careful. This thing is really important. Easy Toro switch in here. We uh, we get the Intimidate off. Please don't Psychic Fang. So that would be the worst case. He got a low roll though, which is good. Or it might not be. Uh, or, no, I think that's Choice Banded. Yeah, that's Choice Banded, but it was a low roll, so it can't um, to a KO me here, which is good. And I'm gonna Will O Wisp. If I can cripple this thing, that would be really good. Um. Uh, I could body press, but I'm pretty sure Azelf doesn't uh, take a ton from that. Yeah, not really. I'd rather status it. If it's physical, it's crippled, but it's, it's probably a special set. I'm going to go Hatterene here. Okay, it is special. No sp Oh, it got the spit after up. That's not good. If it has Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball does quite a lot. Um, I kind of want to double out into Dragalgi just to reset the spit after up. I doubt he'll psychic again. Okay, so probably no Shadow Ball since he uh went for Thunderbolt there. Alright, I'm gonna go back to Hatterene now. I only did that to reset the the special defense drop. I was just nervous. I need to try to get my screens back up at some point if I can with Clef Key. Alright, so this has Thunder Wave. Good to know. Alright, now I get a Dazzling Gleam off. This is going to do over half. Got a low roll there. Um, it's probably just gonna set up screens again if I had to assume. I'm gonna side shock because he probably sets up a light screen. Hit him on the physical side. Oh, it still does that. I forgot. I always forget that interaction. All right, I'm gonna go Lando. Nope, no switching for you. I'm gonna Earth Power here because I really don't feel threatened with by that this Azelf with Hatterene around. All right, huge. We get rid of the Sandy Shocks. So once this light screen's gone, we won't, no longer have to worry about screens. I have two of them uh, status for Gengar. I still need him to Terra. Um, if it's Terra Electric. With the Chimpow. Oh, well, it's it's Terra Ice either. So either Terra is fine. Just so it's not a dark type. Hex will do a ton of damage once it's uh, statused. Because it's a choice banded Chimpow. Um, I think probably either Azelf... Or Chen Pao comes out here. This also works. I can't KO this with a light screen up. I don't think he can knock out Klefki. He has a really low chance with uh, uh, 
close combat. So I'm going to go Klefki here. I can punish with uh, either a T-Wave or I'll just set up a screen probably. I can set up a, a Reflect. I think Reflect's just safer to take less damage from this or in the, uh, the Chimp out. Ooh, wave crash. I've never seen this thing just not run Aqua Step. I was not expecting that. Um, I could Thunder Wave. I don't think I have a reason to not Thunder Wave, actually. Because if he goes one of these, I can just set up a screen the following turn. So I can just set up either a Reflect or a Light Screen here. Reflect's just better, I think. Two more turns of light screen, and then Gengar can go to town. Okay, I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam here. I should outspeed Gudra since it's paralyzed. So I can Baton Pass out on it before it can hit me. I'm gonna go uh, Dragalgi here. Um, now how much does Draco do? Has a 6% chance to kill, but it's slower anyways. So I'm gonna set up my Toxic Spike. This is for Hex from Gengar to be able to kill the Quakwable. Oh, and that's even better. Because I doubt that that thing's heavy duty boots. It could be though. Alright, Hatterene's free here. And now Dazzling Gleam is a free move here. Alright. If he has Rapid Spin, he might go try to Rapid Spin. Uh, but might just go Chen Pao and hit me. But I still have the Reflect up, so he's gotta be worried about that. Gudra can't kill me, I don't think, with a Flash Cannon. Either. Maybe, though. Uh, no. No, it cannot. And I think I've seen it switch up moves, right? It went from Fire Blasting to Thunderbolting, I'm pretty sure, at one point. Fire Blast, Gudrist, Fire Blast, no. Maybe it is Choice Specs. Yeah, it might be Choice Specs, okay. But he goes this. Which, this is... We have the Reflect up. Ooh, huge crit. I still don't knock it out here, but it still does not KO with me with Flash Cannon. Okay, Chesto Berry. Okay, no. Um, if it's last Sleep Talk, I can just go, uh, I'll go Lando. Alright, Earth Power does a ton of damage here. Shook a berry, okay. Still sleeps this turn though. Something's not getting knocked out here. I'm not even gonna get to show off my Hex Gengar. Yeah, since um, this might be Choice Scarf, I'm gonna switch. I don't wanna. Sacklanderous. Yeah, I don't wanna. Yeah, but Umbreon no longer getting Heal Bell in um, 
Scarlet and Violet, I noticed how weak this team was going to be to just status in general from whether it be Nuzzle, Thunder Wave, T-Spike, you know, the whole lot. Um, yeah, this is definitely choice. Has to be. Not choice banned, choice scarf. That was about the damage I would have expected on Hulkwavel, or uh, Dragalgi. But I'll go Tauros here, get the Intimidate off. Intimidate this, this works too. I'm still not in uh, Psychic Fang range. I can body press here, knock out this. I think I have two at KO Hulkwavel if it comes out. Or it probably, it might die to this plus poison damage, depending on the roll. Close. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go Hatterene. I'm trying to just keep differential at this point. Tauros to intimidate. Yeah, I gotta try to keep differential with where I'm at this season. I could probably just sack this and then Gengar wins. Because nothing takes two Psychic Fangs here. Yeah, that's fine. And then Gengar comes out. And Sludge Bomb kills. Alright, GG's, artist, GG's. I was very nervous for that game. Um, but yeah, Gengar, uh, had Hex, but yeah, GG's, um, that now puts us to six and three, um, depending on how others play, we could be pushing up to fifth or even fourth, which is really good. Um, next week is the last week of the regular season. Um, I don't know who my opponent is. Faith. My opponent's Faith. Okay. Um, looking at their team. Their team actually looks kind of threatening. I'll have to look at it more in depth later, but, um... Oh, he was jolly. Oh. All right. Yep. Well, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.